So we are ready to do great things with Affinity Designer. Let's start with a clean sheet. And we want to put graphics onto a path. So for that you need a path first. Um, let's do something like this. I don't know. If this is my path. But let's say this is my path. And uh, then I need the graphic I want on this path. Okay, let's put this path down a little here. Now I want to make a graphic that I want on the path. Uh, let's say I want to make a little crown. Like this, okay. Now my little crown should have a golden color. And the stroke here, do we do a little thicker? No, we don't. We leave this like that. Now, what we want is that our graphic, we want to place this here just along this path. And so we need to make sure that we have the right size we want. Is this a good size? Like this, right? Okay. And then we right click on this and say copy. We select the path here and use our artistic text tool and click on the path. All right now, the green arrow shows where we start with the uh, with this graphic. Let's say here. Now we use the keyboard and do Control V to insert that. We can right click on here and say paste, but Control V gives us like the opportunity to do this faster. Okay, now, while we have the cursor here, we can select them all, you know, like those. And we can go here in the text style here and change things. For example, here the space in between the text. So if we would say we want 150%, then it's spaced out more. Where we see now 150 is a little rough. But you say, let's say 120. Right, then it goes around here. If we have one too many, we can just delete that one. If we need some deleted inside here, if we delete one here, the whole thing moves over to the left. As you can see. So if we want a break in here, then we need to replace this with space bars, right? So where's my text? Where are you text? Okay, let's take this out of the way. There's my path. Here's my text tool. I can use the cursor to go back and forth. And if I need a space here, I just put in some blanks. And then I have a gap here if I need to. But this is not uh, the focus of this video. Um, it is how to get your graphics onto a path. The original graphic you can delete after you have some in here. If you need to copy again or add a second graphic in here, uh, you can very well do this. So if I do and make a second graphic, what would be a good graphic? Like this with some blue in it, for example. Right, you can copy, go into your thing here with the cursor, and then Control V to insert the graphic there. With the cursor, I can go where I need to be. Take those spaces out if I have to. Go over with the cursor to the spot where I want to insert the next graphic. <laughs> Delete what I don't need. Right? And then you have basically any combination here you want. I mean, you can also, um, let's go in here again, select those two, click, oh wow, it was everything. There, Ctrl C, 
and then if you want to insert here, Control V, now you insert like this combination you just selected. So there is all kinds of possibilities with this. If you want to turn this one here, upside down, then only the single one has turned. If you select a bunch and turn them left 50, 60 degrees or whatever. So then they all those individual ones rotated by that degree. So it's there is some kind of flexibility in this. And as I said again, though, you don't need the original one. We could introduce a third shape, but we can introduce as many as we want, but this is just to show how you can do it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more.